Hey guys, editing upshift here. I'm noticing that in this video, uh, there's not really much footage of Sem, so and the editing is not great in these clips, so that's why it's like this. I'm sorry, I apologize. Um, but better better editing will be next week. Uh, so yeah, sorry, uh, but bear with me. Right, bye bye. With the F2 2022 season coming closer and closer, most of the teams are starting to announce their driver lineups for the upcoming season. Shiru's Formula 2 team announced that one of their drivers for the upcoming season would be the Turkish driver Sem Bolukbasi. This caused a big argument as to why he was here, and that got me thinking, does Sem deserve to be in Formula 2? Sem was born on February 9th, 1998, in Istanbul, Turkey. At the age of 9, he started karting around Turkey and Eastern Europe. For the next 3 years, he would mainly compete in the Turkish Karting Championship Mini and the Southeast European Karting Zone Championship. His best finish would be in 2009 in the Turkish Karting Championship, where he finished 3rd in the standings. In 2011, he would move into more center stage European championships, including the Rotax Max Cups and the British Kartmasters Grand Prix. It was at this point in 2012 where Sem would put a hold on his racing career and shift his focus focus to esports. He worked on his craft and in 2015 he competed in one race of the iRacing World Championship where he finished in a decent 6 points. After this step forward, he moved into the Formula Sim Racing World Championship to compete in the last 4 rounds of the championship. He actually did very well, with a decent result with P7 in Coda. For the next 2 years, Sem would compete in various esports competition, and he ended up qualifying for the 2017 Formula 1 Esports Championship. He signed with the McLaren Esports team, and this year there are only a few races in the series, and in the first heat at Silverstone, Sem would take a P3 podium, and in the next heat in Sao Paulo, he would take another podium in P2. A very very impressive start, but he fell away in Canada where he finished in P19. He would take his first win in the next round at Spa, and a P11 finish in Abu Dhabi, finishing in 5th place in the championship. For the next season, Sam would move teams to Toro Rosso Esports team for 4 races in the championship. For the 4 races he competed in, he didn't finish outside of the points, and he got a best result of P4 in Silverstone. Shortly after, Sam wanted to try something very new, and no, not another esports series, he actually wanted to step into real life racing. So I went into the 2019 GT4 Euro Series with Burashan Motorsport. He he would race in only two rounds in Le Castellet and Maizano, and would score a podium in the first of two races in Maizano and grab points in every single race except one. At the end of the year, he would get a guest drive in two rounds of the Formula Renault Euro Cup, but he wasn't technically classified. In 2020, he would again go into the GT4 Euro Series once again with Broshan. This year it would be a massive step forward for Sem, where he would take a win in the first race in Imola and would set a trend for the rest of the season where he and his teammates would challenge for the title against Allied Race. They would ultimately grab 7 more podiums and 2 more wins, but the championship would be tantalizingly close, but it would be taken away at the last round at La Castellet, where Sem would DNF and Allied would take a win and with it, the championship. Sem finished in P2 in the championship, but it was once again a great step forward for him. In 2021, Sem would try to take his talents to the Euro Formula Open. He missed the first 3 rounds of the championship and started in the 4th round in Hungary, and he immediately impressed taking a win in his first race and taking a P3 podium in his second. He would be extremely consistent taking a few podiums and almost never finishing outside the points, and in the penultimate round in Monza, he would take 3 podiums in 3 races. In the last round in Catalonia, he would take another win and 2 P4 finishes. This great success put him in P5, but a lot of people including me think that he probably would have won the championship if he raced the whole season. The success of the Euro Formula Open pushed him into more team spotlight, and later that year he signed with Black Arts Racing for the F3 Asian Championship. This would be by far Sem's biggest challenge. And if you watched my Zhou video, because if you haven't, you should probably check it out, this would be a very talented field. And while Guan Yu Zhou and Pierre Louis Chevet ran away with the championship, Sam was consistently in the points and had a best finish of that year in P5. He slotted into P9 in the championship. And now, let's circle back to the main point of this whole video. Why is Sam Bolak Basi in F2? Actually, you know what, to rephrase that, has he done enough to earn himself a seat in F2? I'm sorry Turkish fans, but no, he hasn't. He has shown talent, but he has barely any racing experience. I do like Sem, but I do think he should be in a lower caliber series like F3 or Super Formula before he gets into F2. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and a comment. If you want to see any more racing content, make sure to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Thank you and have a great day.